Welcome to Bricka News, October 2022. So we have nine or eight interesting topics that we're going to talk about in this news video. This is basically like for the news for October and what's been going on with the Brickafig channel. We're going to get started off with my company, Brickafig. Um, if you don't know, we did this massive restock uh, last weekend, I believe, on Saturday, and we released the French and British soldiers, which are awesome. You need to go pick one up, like right now. They're both still available, and the French guy's about the out. I think there's only six left. Um, the British, there's quite enough uh, stock. But yes, so we have the French and British soldier that are available now. So uh, yeah. Anyway, we restocked those. Me and my mom, we have come up with a plan for the rest of the year, and basically we're going to be releasing every other Saturday. We have new releases or restocks planned throughout the end of the year, and then December we're taking a little bit of a break of the you know through Christmas and the holiday season and all that. Anyway, but um, we'll of course make videos about these updates and I'll tell you all about that. But for right now, I can tell you what we're coming out with next week. So next Saturday, we're coming out with some more uh, prints, the wood grain elements, which we're almost out of stock on those. So we're just going ahead and restocking those. And then we have stickers releasing. Ooh, stinky. And I don't know if I have a picture yet or not. So if I do, there'll be one up on screen. If there's not, you'll just be zooming in on my face. So <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so Brick of Fig updates coming. Um, we have the Indian guy releasing at the end of the month, and then Rogers Ranger is coming soon after that. And I really can't talk about what's coming after that yet, but um, once we get closer to that, I will. So yeah, that's what's going on in Brick of Fig land. Um, of course, if you want to stay up to date and get behind the scenes footage and all kinds of stuff like that, uh, please follow the Instagram page, the Brick of Fig Instagram page. Uh, I guess there'll be an animation coming up on screen telling you to do that. But uh, yeah. Very cool stuff. So the other huge news that's happened, um, if you don't know, I've been trying to get monetized for the last uh, uh, four months it's been. In August, I hit the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, and I thought, okay, good, we're gonna be golden. Let's go, we're gonna get monetized. And they rejected me. They didn't tell me why, they just said, oh, you violated our policy guidelines. How am I supposed to know what that is? And I look, I read through it, I'm not violating any of it. And so this goes on for three months that they keep telling me, you know, that you're violating the monetization policy guidelines. And I, <laughs> I wasn't. Anyway, then like a week ago, they randomly uh, emailed me and said, oh, your AdSense account isn't fully set up. Do that, then you can be monetized. Okay, would have been nice to know four months ago, but uh, so we completed the AdSense uh, setup process and now we're officially monetized. Now, I don't know how much money I'm making right now. I will tell you I've made $100 from the shorts, which was the short that I did on Obi-Wan Kenobi and then the Can You Destroy Lego 2x4 bricks. I also, another thing is uh, money and analytics and stuff. Um, I was talking to you in the thing that we got monetized and I'll show the revenue right now. Now, also in YouTube land, I'm still banned on live streaming. <sighs> talked about this at length but on May 7th I believe I my stream was taken down falsely and they said that I was under 13 spoiler alert I'm 15 I have a driver's a learner's permit to prove it I am 15 you want to catch me live I do it you know, every couple of weeks on Instagram so yeah check that out in other news I'm going to Multicon Lebanon uh, Tennessee that's on October 29th uh, that Saturday and Sunday so yeah, I'll be there at Multicon. I'm actually displaying, well, picture up on screen, I'm displaying the Kenobi mock. Uh, please go watch that video because it's really good. But anyway, I'll be displaying that there. I don't expect to meet really anybody there because it's not a Lego event, it's Multicon. Um, in fact, the only Lego thing there is the lug that I'm part of. So like, I don't know, man, it's kind of weird. But um, yeah, Multicon, I'm going to that. It's just so close to where I live that it's like, now, also, if you notice that the audio quality is a little different, it's because I got the Rode microphone, lavalier um, microphones, and it's a set of two, so I can mic me and my dad up. And the main reason we got this is our, our old microphone was actually pretty good. Um, it's a shotgun mic. Right the timing of filming this video, I didn't have information on these two sets but i would like to give my opinion on these two sets that just got revealed so number one is the table football set number 21337 and this thing i will not be picking up one it's just too small i'm sorry and uh two i already have a foosball table which is very fun and i don't see myself playing with it at all like with other people i just 
find it to be very finicky. I mean, like, I wanted to send it out to me, of course, I'd do a review, but, like, I don't know, that just, it does not look enticing to me at all. So, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on that one. Now, one that I will probably be getting is this Holiday Main Street, and, mmm, this looks, this looks good. Um, not really sure about the price yet on this. I don't know if it's been revealed or not. I don't think it has been. This is set number 10308, Holiday Main Street. And this one, oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Especially that uh, tram right there. That's that's uh, really good. And then the clock tower, oh, yeah. So content going forward, here's, here's the problem or here's kind of a dilemma. Brickmania content has basically been most of my channel for the last... Uh, two years. I've done some other custom Lego stuff and now of course Brickafig has content coming out with it and then I've done some Lego stuff and then I've done mocks blah 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 but the main thing like where I get most of my views and stuff is from Brickmania content and there's kind of a ceiling to that. I love Brickmania and I'll continue to do stuff on them but I want to try to do more and more Lego stuff and every single time I try to do a Lego video it seems like it gets like less a lot less views than Brickmania and that's just because most of my subscribers are here for Brickmania content. Anyway what Going forward, I want to do like reviews on this castle set, which I still have to build, and the uh, Viking ship, and you know, just other stuff that's outside of Brickmania, or even custom LEGO stuff, just official LEGO stuff, reviews. So would you guys be alright with me doing that? Um, mostly it would be ideas sets, because I don't really like Star Wars anymore. I mean, I still have a lot of their sets, but I don't know. I Star Wars I'm getting out of, but like castle, medieval, ideas... Um, city, creator, expert, you know, stuff like that I really like. And so those would be the types of reviews that you'd be seeing on the channel. So I'm probably going to do it anyway just to test it out. But I just want you guys' feedback if you would watch that or if you're just strictly here for the Brickmania and custom Lego stuff and don't care anything about Lego. So lastly, Joshua's Journal. Yes, that's right. My second channel that has really been neglected. I want to do videos on there, it's just right now since Brick of It is now monetized and it's the main channel that I'm like, you know, trying to grow, I just don't put any time to Josh's journal because, I don't know, I, it's not that I've lost interest, it's just I have a certain amount of time to do YouTube work and I'm doing all of the YouTube work on uh, Brick of It and then all the other time I have I spend on Brick of Fig and you know so there's just no time for Joshua's journal anyway but I have what I've been doing is just filming some segments of my life and a vlog that's like overarching a couple months um, here and there and I want to put that on Joshua's journal however would you guys want to see that on this channel or would you want to see it on Joshua's journal I don't know which to put it on because I mean I think I'm gonna probably go ahead and put it on Joshua's journal so uh, yeah that's uh, the last thing but there will be content at some point by the end of the year there'll be another video on Joshua's journal um, at some point <laughs> so yeah anyway sorry this video was a little more serious and also i was probably talking faster i feel like i'm talking faster maybe i'm not i'm not sure and thank you guys for making the channel possible uh you know there's no way i could be monetized by myself the only reason why i am is because of you guys and um yeah that's just crazy thank you for almost 3,800 subscribers thank you for all the support on brick of fig it's just truly been wonderful to see you know that I get to make these videos and hundreds of people watch them, but then I can also make products that people buy and like, and it's just really crazy to me. So thank you guys so much for that. That means the world. And so, uh, yeah, I'll continue creating content, continue creating minifigures, and I'll see you on the next one.